Hello world and welcome to my channel. This short video is about a survival snake bite kit and a survival first aid kit. Uh, I take them when I go out bush um, and I hope you like this short video. Thank you. Cheers. Hi, this short video is about two kits. It's a survival snake bite kit and a survival first aid kit. Now, I, I do go out bush to cattle properties. Um, there's some pay and get go to detect cattle properties where you can detect for gold. I go out there looking for gold with a gold detector and I used to take just that in my kit. Nothing else, oh, in a small first aid kit, but it's only a little, very, very basic one for 20 bucks. So I used to take that with me in the first aid kit, along with the GPS, water, food, things like that. Um, I forget how to use it all the time. Um, I know, I don't always go up, you go down. Uh, I've been told you used to go down, but I think you go back up now. Um, and the square, there's rectangles on it, there, and when you stretch it enough it becomes a square. So that's the basic one I take. Now, this one here is by survival. I'll open it up. Right. Now, it comes opened up like that, right? All the gear you need is in, inside the kit. Now under here is a little instructions booklet and pressure bandages. How to use the pressure bandage. Because you now when do you do it? You, you watch a movie, you get trained, and then you forget a little bit about it, okay? So it tells you a little bit about it in the instruction booklet there. Right under bite instructions. Never go back in the same way. And now here you have the same bandages I have here. Got a rectangle and it can come come to square when you stretch it. And in this kit there's another one for sprains. You can actually use this one for sprains if you need to. So if you have a snake bite and then you fall down and hurt yourself somebody or you can treat somebody for a sprain if, if you only got the snake bite kit with you. Also under here are cotton gauze swabs. So you have the instructions, cotton gauze swabs and then you get your pressure bandages here. So it's all colour coded and listed according to instruction manual. There's a splint there. Another another pressure bandage there if you cut yourself. And there's infection protection there. So the instruction book tells you what to do with the snake bite kit. That's the snake bite kit. This is a survival workplace or home first aid kit. So it's an intensive kit, this one. So I'll just open it up. And so this is what it is. It comes in, it's all colour coded, okay? with everything you need to use here so I'll just 
put it back down. So it opens right out here like this. So it comes right open. Everything you possibly could need is in this kit. Now, most of the time, you don't need it for yourself. But you never know when it, you could need it for somebody else to save their life. So, I go by myself most of the time. But if I come across somebody in need of, 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 of treatment, I would probably have this in my utility, especially when I went metal detecting. I could go back and get it, which is only a minutes away, maybe 20 minutes away, and then come back. So and I'd be able to go back straight to the utility with my GPS. So in, in this kit, you have everything you, you possibly can need. Scissors. Um, there is an instruction booklet in here. Which is that one. And the instruction booklet tells you step by step what to do and what things you need to, to how to how to do first aid. As I say, I've been trained every year because I'm an electrician. Every year I get trained, okay? So um, but I forget. You know, you forget you know it's so many compressions and so many breaths and things like that. I don't actually do bandaging and things. It's basic resuscitation. But the book here will tell you step by step. So you pick it up and you can then read the book and then follow the instructions which are colour coded. Blues, reds, everything is in here and greens. It can be colour coded to pick up what the item you need to do the the um, the treatment. So as I say, it's an extensive kit. I'm not going to go through each component it has, um, but everything you need would be possibly in here. Tweezers, um, shears, fever scan strip. There's a strips there that you can put on there to see if they got a fever or not. Um, Splinter processes. Um, hydro gel. Gloves. Emergency blankets even. Plastic bag for waste. Um, no contamination. Skin cleaning wipes. Um, you have singular bandages. And then you have comforting bandages and pressure bandages and, and so on and so on and so on. Um, saline solutions for eye treatments and as I said wound closures and everything. It's, it's all here in this kit and it, it's very compact. It just folds up like that. Put the book back first. Always remember to put the book back. And then over here is room to put other things blood pressure pills, cholesterol pills, thing pills you need to take with you and you can have it all in one area. Instead of, oh, where do I put them? Where do I put them? They put them under here, under there. So you have them in the kit. Just open the kit up, take them out, put them back so every time you'd know you'd have it. So yeah, that folds up like that and that goes over the top of that. And that's just it. So there you have it, and on here is a barcoding and things. You can scan it, and it tells you what the kit has in it, and then you can replace the items that are missing. If you use a lot of stuff out of it, you can get a, a replacement uh, things to go inside. So there you have it. Up here you also have a, a CPR chart. CPR chart. As I say, I do it every year, but I don't practice. So you come and you think, oh, it's 30 compressions, two breaths, um, or, or 10 compressions, two breaths. You know, it just changes from time to time. And, um, and 
it's on the chart. Okay. Well, thank you for watching and please give me a thumbs up and and please subscribe if you like this video. As I say, it's your own survival or somebody else's could be in jeopardy. So please, please be aware, take something with you whenever you go out bush, especially with our snake season here. Very easy to walk on a snake. I'm normally um, aware of it with jeans and boots and things. Um, and, and the metal detector is in front of me. So it virtually scares them away. But you never, never know. Especially with the dangerous snakes we have in Australia. Okay, so please give me a thumbs up and, and subscribe and cheers.